Nice shot. <laughs> Let's see what you can do now. Let's go, man. Don't smile, kid. How much you want? Ah! All day. Oh, gotta stay down on me. I got that. You got what? That's a youngster for you. <laughs> Just when you thought it was safe to come outside. Bet you won't score again. I won't score again? Hey, like that rainbow. We're not done. Excuse me. Had enough? <laughs> well, look here. Sucker. You reach, I teach. Oh. We'll see. Lesson just started. Come on. That's ugly. Could have done. You should have done. Hey, Mike. What? what? Who's got next? Get your young ass out there. It presented a, a specific problem that was difficult on a number of levels. One, we had the most recognizable sports figure in the world, and we had to present him playing himself one-on-one -on -one in basketball. We needed to come up with the approach that kind of didn't limit him in any way. Um, the best thing we could come up with is a computer-generated head that allowed us to basically place it in a scene from any angle. We started with a cyber scan, which is basically a laser scan of Michael Jordan's head. It gives us um, a model or a sculpture that we can manipulate in 3D. We then take a series of photographs of his head, uh, detailed areas like his eyes, his nose, his ears. We use those as decals that are applied on the surface of this 3D model. That gives us what we call a texture. From there, we create a skeletal structure and a musculature on the inside of this 3D representation of Michael. Um, that allows animators to gain control over his face and make him do things like smile, blink, and even talk. Who's got Nick? We were able to learn and, and even push that technology further. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. It's about seeing something that you've never seen before, or maybe something that you have seen before. Get your young foot out there. <laughs>